in this Power SDR video, I'm going to go over a couple recording features. <coughs> you, there's first this uh, recording and play up here. Uh, you can make quick recordings of somebody talking to you. Hit the record button, records your band pass, uh, and then when you hit transmit or you, when you hit record again, it'll stop. Then to play it back, you hit the trans, you know, hold the hold the key down on your radio to transmit. Hit the play button. They can hear what uh, what you recorded. In the if you had this quick audio uh, MP3 checkbox, then you also get an MP3 in a separate folder, so you can uh, email, let's say, somebody uh, an MP3 of it, or listen to it, you know, on your on your computer. There's also the uh, voice key buttons here to create uh, um, IDs and and so on, the different voice key macros here uh, for different things. You normally record these uh, with your with your radio microphone uh, in SSB, and then you can. But you can use them. Let's say on FM, you can play them back on FM. You can play them back on AM. Uh, you can play them back in CW. But you you have to record them in uh, in SSB. One little trick you might not know is let's say I go to the CW mode. Um, I can flip the radio into CW mode and then I can make let's say I want to make VK1 to be a, a CW ID of my call sign so I start the recording I hit the macro and then now I'm done and then you get a little pop up that it's done I close this and I can play it back in CW but I can also play back go back in here and I can still I could still play that even though I'm in SSB. So that's one one little thing. And then there's one other thing you can do that you may not realize and that's you can record the entire pan adapter uh, for pl playback later and you can actually hear all the different uh, signals on the band. You can choose any of those signals and I'll show you how to do that quickly. You change this receive here to pre-processed audio, so now it's going to record your entire sample rate, which in this case is 192 kilohertz. And I'm zoomed all the way out, uh, so you could see pretty much. But even if you weren't zoomed all the way out, it still works. And I'm going to do one other thing, and that is I have to go here to General Hardware DDS Expert, and we say yes, I'm an expert. And then I'm going to change this IF to zero so that this VFO frequency is truly the center frequency. So close that. So now I'm going to make a recording. Now you don't hear anything because my my bandpass is not over the top of anybody but here's FT8 signals and you know some other signals on the band but I'm making a recording. There's a signal right there. And let's say okay, so we got enough recordings done. I'm going to go to add that file which is in your music folder in there so now now let me just change I'll change antennas it's not going to be perfect but let me just change antenna uh, so that most of the signals will disappear now so now I'm going to hit play all those signals that were just recorded are come back now so the trick is you in, engage the multi RX the second receiver I'm going to right click so it starts out right over the top and then I'm going to click here right click again to get that VFO okay well we, it we're just going to play again because it cycled through the whole thing. So, say so I can hear anything that's going on in the recording. And I can just keep replaying it. And it just starts over again, that's all. So, you're actually <laughs> making a recording of the entire uh, pan adapter that, in this case, 192 kilohertz. So those are some of the things you can do with uh, recordings, and and also in the memory, there's a recording that you can you can do. Let me launch that. <coughs> uh, when memory opens up, you could pre-set a calendar time and the frequency where. Um, 
I've, and I've gone over this before, but you could preset a time and so forth for a, one of these memories so you can have it make a recording. You can schedule the recording to be weekly, monthly, and then it'll put it in this recording folder and it makes it an MP3 as well so you can do, you know, very long recordings of a shortwave station or something like that and it'll uh, put it in the folder. So those are some of the different recording options.